Hi guys, Al DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Wednesday video report. I've got to apologize for a blatant error I made in yesterday's video in regards to one of the free picks. Now, yesterday I had two selections. I took the Dodgers on the run line, and naturally the Dodgers get a run line win when Clayton Kershaw's on the hill, when I give it to you as a comp play, as I joked about yesterday, instead of only winning 2-1 to one when Kershaw was simply dominant against the Gi Giants, and I had one of the biggest plays of my career on him in his previous start. But the other play yesterday, I gave you in my analysis R.A. Dickey and the Toronto Blue Jays. I said go with Dickey. I told you how high he had been, blah, blah, blah. And every time I referred back to the play, did I not say Boston, Boston, and Boston? Even when I said it's a great thing because you don't have to play the Blue Jays on the run line for once, you can play them on the money line, did I not say Boston as well? Believe me, I know I said Boston because I went back and watched the video because I thought, geez, what the hell did I do there? I don't know, guys. It was one of those days, must have been yesterday, with absolutely no sleep doing the video report. So, consequently, even though I really went 2-0 yesterday with the comp place, I'm going to count it as a uh, split here in terms of the record, because I think that's the fair thing to do. And I'm sorry for uh, probably driving you crazy and confusing you as well. Damned if I know how I can juxtapose Toronto and Boston. Not like the same words, you know? Not even close. Uh, geographically, perhaps, but that's about it. So 72 and 42 with the complimentary plays over the past 59 days. And I've got plays again today coming up on the Blue Jays and the Red Sox, plus the Twins and the Royals. And that's coming up in just a moment. Listen, I'll get to the good stuff in a moment. But listen, as you know, the charity play of the week won last night. So um, thank you for Brad Wilton for cashing in with the charity play winner with the Astros and the Angels staying under the posted price. You got the play for free. And that was the 19th time in 28 weeks that you got a charity play of the week winner that cashed in for you. So now it's quid pro quo time. I gave you a free winner and I'm asking you to make a donation. I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, there is a young lady, uh, a college freshman by the name of uh, Shayla Smith who uh, hails from Cape Coral, uh, Florida, and um, she started college uh, back in the week of August 24th. And unfortunately, her mother passed away suddenly on August 31st. So her you know, brother set up a, uh, a fundraising site to help uh, defray some of the costs that are going to be associated with her education because not only did this girl lose her mother as she started college, but she also lost her means of financial support. Now, you know, many times over the past four years, you know, there's been so many different scenarios where I've picked various uh, folks to make them the recipient of the charity play of the week proceeds to donations. It's the first time I came across something like that, but I thought, you know, how, A, devastating, you embark on the next phase of your life and your mother passes away, um, not only from a personal stra uh, tragedy standpoint, but also from a financial standpoint as well. So I thought, what better person to use today, what better cause to use today than this one and ask you to make a donation. Now, if you happen to be watching the video on the website, all you've got to do is scroll down a little bit and you can click on the button. You can make your donation using Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, etc., American Express as well. Uh, you'll see my donation there. You'll see my $250 there. Again, with your assistance, with your help, I've been able to create a community of caregivers over the past four years, and it's easily, easily contributed well over $300,000 with ease to various folks from all walks of life for all types of causes over the past four plus years. Again, without your help, it doesn't work. I don't care if you make a donation today or you make it five days from now when you get your money from your sports book. I don't care if it's $5 or $50. The choice is yours. All I ask as you make a contribution, because it's the right thing to do. Okay, uh, hey, FYI, as you know, when the charity play wins, I am not beneath bribing you <laughs> by giving you the ability to save even more on somebody's package here on the site. doesn't have to be Brad Wilton. You can save $125 off the purchase price of any handicapper's 30-day package by using coupon code SAVE125, S-A-V-E-125, no space between the word and the numbers. Save $125 right off the top of any handicapper's 30-day package by using that coupon code. Could it come at any time better than this one? College football, full swing, NFL getting underway tomorrow? I don't think so. And remember, if you already happen to be involved in the handicapper's package. Let's say you have seven days left of a 30-day package of one of the handicappers here at the site. Well, now you would have 
37 days, seven remaining, 30 new. You'd save $125 off the top. And if you have any instant rebates, they are applicable as well. If you'd like to take a shot with a handicap over a seven day period, great coupon as well. Save $50 and you can uh, save that $50 off the purchase price of any seven day handicappers package by using coupon code. Are you ready? Save 50, S-A-V-E and the number 50. As always, if you have any questions about the packages and the coupons, et cetera, you can always contact customer service. FYI, Brad Wilson, who last night you got the 50 dime winner for free. Today he has a play three times stronger, the sixth ever 150 dime play of his career in baseball, a sport in which he has made $10 betters over 15 grand since they debuted at this site in February of 2013. So in two and a half baseball seasons, he's made $10 betters over $15,000. Six never 159 baseball play. It's the White Sox and Indians. It's the half price play of the day by using coupon code 150 dimes. 150 D I M E S. No space between 150 and the word dimes and uh, all your other coupons, etc., including that half price play of the day special, are over on the homepage. So let's get to your complimentary plays here tonight. Uh, let's talk first about the Blue Jays and the Red Sox. And let me make this perfectly clear I am tonight going with. Boston. Yes, I want Boston. I want the Red Sox. I want Joe Kelly. And why not take Joe Kelly? He's won seven straight starts with an earned run average of 2.72, including four straight in Fenway. He's allowed two or fewer runs in each of his last six outings. You know, this is a pitcher who's really turned around his career, uh, not just his season, but his career, because he was dreadful after getting acquired here in an off-season deal. And at the start of the season, all he did was earn himself a demotion down to Paul Tuckett. So, Although he faced the Blue Jays three times earlier in the year and had a 7.64 earned run average, remember, that was before he went down to the minor leagues, really turned his career around. He's on a roll here right now. The first two games have been a split in the series. I think the final score the other day was 11-3 to with the Boston Red Sox winning game one of the series. Then last night, the Blue Jays coming back and winning 5-1 to in 10 innings. Drew Hutchinson is going for Toronto. I've talked about him many times this season. This is a guy who gets more run support than any other pitcher in the major leagues this season. 8.14 runs per game of support. But the problem with Drew Hutchinson is you ride him at the Rogers Center in Toronto, but you do not take him on the road. And the numbers bear this out. Listen to this home road split here for Hutchinson. So at home, 11-2, 2.91 earn run average and 15 home starts, okay? Um, on the road... Two and one record, earn run average of nine, nine in 11 road starts. Opponents batting 372 against him in those 11 starts. I mean, in 51 innings pitch, he's allowed 81 hits. 10 of them have been homers, and he's walked 21 batters as well. That's 102 base runners in 51 innings on the road this season, which is why he has an earn run average of nine on the road, which is why opponents are batting 372 against him on the road. And what really worries me here about Hutchinson is that in his last start, Friday at home, a game which I was on him and I lost money, trust me, um, he did not pitch well at home. In fact, the Orioles really beat him up last Friday. Uh, six runs on nine hits, pounded three homers in five short innings. So I'm going to go against the Blue Jays, even though they played well, even though they are 3-0 and in his starts against Boston this season. But just remember, in those three starts against the Red Sox, it hasn't been Hutchinson pitching well. It's been the fact that Toronto has averaged over 11 runs in those three starts. It's the reason why I'm going to the Red Sox, who had their four-game winning streak snap last night, to take the rubber game in this series. So that's going to be your first complimentary play. Uh, your other complimentary play, I am going to go and take a shot with the Minnesota Twins tonight as the road dog with Mike Pelfrey on the hill. I know Pelfrey has a miserable earn run average on the road versus at home. I mean, his home road split is not good. 2.35 at home, 6.17 earn run average on the road. Um, and I know that he struggled with an earn run average over 10 in his last three starts, but this guy has been consistently inconsistent for years now. And I just think this is a good spot to jump on him. It's not like the Royals are playing that well. They just snapped the four game losing streak last night, um, with a four, two win, all four runs came in the first inning. Uh, the Twins, even though they've lost four of their last six, you know, that's one way of looking at the numbers. Other way to look at them is that they're still on a 
12 and 6 run in their last 18 games. Uh, you're going with Chris Medlin. The Royals are tonight. And, you know, clearly the guy has not recovered from Tommy John surgery. Seven runs, 11 hits, five and two third innings, and his last start a 12 1 home loss to the White Sox. Uh, in three starts, he made a number of outings in the bullpen. In three starts since being returned to the rotation, 6.88 earned run average. I just can't get excited about him on the hill and the Royals here and tonight. And the Twins have played well here over the past three weeks, and they've played well on the road as, as well. Yeah, that's too many wells in one sentence, if you ask me. But anyway, I'm going to take a shot with the Twins as the road dog, as your other complimentary play, along with, are you ready, the Boston Red Sox tonight. That's going to be your other free pick. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again tomorrow when we got that, I don't know, we got that NFL thing going tomorrow. I don't know. We'll talk about it. Uh, good luck, everybody. I'll see you then.